When you're creating a website as a service business, one of the first things you need to plan is what you will be offering and at what cost. This includes monthly subscriptions and one-time fee add-ons. In this video, I'll show you how to create those in WP Ultimo using products. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are on your dashboard of your network admin of your uh, WordPress multi-site. And again, make sure you are in the network admin and not in one of your sites. And you can be sure by going, hovering over my sites, going to network admin and then clicking dashboard. And then from here, we want to go to WP Ultimo and then go to products. And we do see some products already here. These are the sample products that were installed with the default content when I installed WP Ultimo. You are welcome to edit any of these pre-existing products by mousing over and hitting edit, but I'm going to start from scratch and create a new product so I can show you how to do that. So I'm going to click this add product button right up here. And to start off, the first thing we're going to do here is enter the product name. Now, before you get to this point, you should have kind of thought about and planned out how you want to do subscriptions for your uh, website as a service business. For me, when I'm just starting out, I'm just going to start out with just one base subscription. And then as I grow, I'm going to um, change and add new subscriptions to it. But for right now, I'm just starting out with uh, one subscription for real estate websites. So I'm just going to name my product real estate website. And then for product description, I'm just going to say a website to grow your real estate business. And I'm probably going to change that later when I go in and I do some, you know, good high quality content writing. But I'm not going to get caught up in there, that now. We're just creating the product um, right now. So let's take a look at these uh, product options here. For product slug, you're going to want to create like an ID for this product. Um, I'm going to do real estate, T-A-T, well, how come I can't spell? E-S-T-A-T-E website. And if you mouse over this question mark here, it'll tell you it needs to be um, dashes and underlines, no spaces, lowercase characters. So that's why that is like that. You have to follow those rules for a slug. Just like um, if you're messing with, um, you know, permalinks on your pages, it's the same rules. And for product type here, you can choose between plan, package, or service. I'm going to choose plan. And then for customer role, I'm going to you leave this as administrator so when customers create a website, they can change everything they need to change. You might want to restrict this here, and that's where you have the option to do it. Next, you can click into up and down grades. Um, you can create a group of related plans. Um, you would add the group right here uh, and then put multiple plans in there. And then from there you could um, set which one is the upgrade and which one's the downgrade. So it allows the customers to easily upgrade and downgrade. I'm not doing that now because like I said, I'm just starting out with one plan. Next, we can peek at price variations. And what this does is allow you to offer discounted prices for longer subscription commitments. So uh, for example, if they did maybe a full year, you would um, put the discounted price for what you wanted the full year to be uh, right there. I'm not doing this, so let me shut all this off. And then next, go to taxes. And you're going to want to enable this if you plan to collect taxes for this plan. Um, if you are unsure if you have to collect taxes, make sure to talk to your accountant or your business attorney. Next, we'll click on over to site templates. Now from here, you can choose between um, allowing them to choose from available site templates for this plan, or you can just assign them one specific template. For me, I am just going to assign them one template. Uh, right now, it's just this is just the default template uh, that was made with the install. I'm going to edit this later, but for right now, they're just getting that default template. Next, hop on over to sites. And this is how many websites you want this customer to be able to create under this membership. 
Um, I'm just going to leave this as one. Next, click visits. This is where you can uh, limit the number of unique visits this website gets in a month. Uh, this is good if this is something that you wanna make sure they don't overwhelm your host. Uh, you can set this at whatever you want here. I'm gonna go ahead and click this at uh, 10,000 for now and come back later and adjust it if I feel like I should give um, allow more visits. I'm also gonna go ahead and scroll back up here and put that uh, it's gonna have 10,000 monthly visits. Um, again, I might change that later, but just so the customer can see that. Uh, next, let's scroll down and look at users. And here's where you can choose if you wanna limit how many users your customer can create here. So like, for example, if uh, for me, if they own a real estate agent agency, they might wanna create accounts for all of their agents. Um, so I might wanna allow them to do that, uh, but maybe I don't want them to have an unlim unlimited number of uh, users they can create. This is where I'd be able to set that. Next, we have post types. This is, again, where you can put limits here. Um, I'm probably going to put limits on most things. I'm just gonna keep it very high so that way nobody on the network abuses anything. Then we have disk space. This is also probably a good idea, um, especially you know with your host, you're, you're gonna be able to, what you really should do here is you should look at how much disk space your host allows and how much that's gonna cost and figure out profit-wise how much disk space you can allow each customer to have without you having to upgrade your hosting um, for it to be financially smart for you. So you're gonna wanna make these adjustments here. And I am going to allow custom domains on this plan. Um, you probably want to allow your customers to get custom domains. Uh, most people are gonna want that for their websites. And then we have themes. And here you can show what themes are going to be visible and available for your customers. Now for me, when I'm starting out, I'm just going to have one theme uh, available for my customers. So I'm going to hide all this, all of these themes that I don't want. I'm gonna sh put as hidden and not available, hidden, not available, hidden, not available. And then for this one that I'm going to use, I'm going to force activate it. Next, we have plugins, and these are going to be the plugins that you want to allow them to be able to use. I haven't made decisions yet on exactly which plugins I'm going to allow for my customers, so I'm gonna come back and edit this again later. Next, we've got reset limitations, which is going to just reset all the limits on this product and then we have legacy options here um, which would allow you to edit the options like the old version of WP Ultimo. I'm gonna keep that shut off. Next, let's scroll back up and you've got a call over here on the right hand side, you've got a couple different pricing types. Um, you can have a paid version, a free version or an option for them to contact you to have them set it up. This is going to be paid for me. This is going to have a recurring charge and I'm gonna set it at $49 every month. And for billing cycles, I'm gonna click zero because it's going to be charged until canceled. I do wanna add a free trial and I am going to set it at 30 days for now. And right now I'm not adding a setup fee, but. I might later, and if you want to, here's where you would do it. You would toggle this on and then hit your setup fee there. And before we hit save product, let's scroll down a little more. Um, this is where you would set if the product's active or not. This is where you would add a product image. I'm not gonna put anything here right now because I wanna see how the product, how I'm gonna set up the product um, on my main website before I decide which uh, product image I wanna put there. But if you already know what product image you wanna put there, you can upload it right here and then go ahead and hit save product. And that's it, you've got your product all set up. And if you head back to uh, the main products page, you will see it listed right here. 
Now, if you do want to do an add-on service, like maybe uh, SEO consulting, or maybe a do it for me, like f for me, I might want to allow customers to set up their own site, but if they don't want to do anything, um, I might want to set it up for them, allow them to set it up for them. So there you would just select this as service. And in that case, if I was doing just a one-time service, um, I would keep it as paid, of course, but I would add maybe just a setup fee um, and no monthly recurring price um, and then hit save. Or like how they have it here, you notice how they have this service called SEO consulting. Um, this would be a regular reoccurring monthly payment and um, if you edit it, you say they have it set here, $9.99 every month, which is crazy cheap for SEO. That's a wild price, um, but that's what they have here. So I'm gonna go back to products and I'm gonna go ahead and delete these that I'm not using right now. So I've got all of them checked and then I'm gonna go to bulk actions and go to delete and hit apply. Uh, and then I have to confirm that I wanna delete them and then hit delete just to keep things really simple. Um, like I said, since I'm just starting out, I'm going to start off very simple and then I can grow from there. So there you go. We set up a uh, recurring subscription using WP Ultimo and their products. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're building your own website, check out my description. I've got a freebie download for you. It is a nine-step website roadmap so you can see exactly what you need to do to get your website live from start to finish. Thank you so much for watching.